knowing yourself and uh you know trying to understand who you are as a person what do you try to do in your daily routine to like get back to that like to not stray away from that especially like we talked about in a world full of noise what do you do personally when you wake up or like in your daily routine that helps you stay in tune with like who you are well i just try to s- I just try to be, I just try to make my day easier. I just try to wake up in the morning and just, uh, just, just to be happy to wake up. <laughs> yeah. Some people don't wake up, you know. Uh, I, I don't know. I just try to, I just, I just don't, I just don't, I'm tired of the bullshit, bro. I, I went through so much as a kid. It's just, I just, I don't need it. Unnecessary stress. Uh, I just, and I'm only human because I get caught up there. My son will tell you because I go a whole day really, really positive, and I I can really lose it quick, you know. Because I like my I like my peace, you know? and if you interfere with my peace, I can really, I can go overboard. But I gotta also I'm working on that. Uh, I've been working on that for years. Uh, Self control, my temper, all these things help me. Uh, I mean, smoking weed, yes. I mean, the weed, yes. Whatever. That's I mean, I physically need it. Uh, I don't smoke it because I want to. I smoke because I, I, I feel like I need it, man. It's I took meds and never worked for me. Weed works. But um, just being spiritual, man. Uh, just letting go of the bullshits, the things that you don't need in your life. Uh, exercise helps. Eating helps. Uh, being outdoors helps, you know, uh, nature just breathing in air sitting in the sun um I'm, uh, works for me i'm not gonna say it works for everybody it, it works for me uh just simple things you know mm-hmm. uh i don't i'm not a good meditator mm-hmm. you know I, I try to meditate but i got two dogs and every time i meditate motherfuckers either licking my face or the other one's got to try to put his butt in my face they, they, they're, they're really it's one of the reasons I can't do anything because if I'm going to meditate, I'm going to get on the floor and meditate. Yeah. And um, my dogs are assholes. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. But they, there's, a, there's a lot going on. It's really hard for me to... If I do it, I'm going to have to go somewhere far. You know, just not in the house because there's a lot going on in the house. I, I can't, it's really hard for me to meditate. I, I'm still learning how to try to do it. I, I really don't know. I don't. I can't grasp it. When they try to, when they telling you that like, you gotta clear out your mind, it's really I don't know how. Because no matter how hard I try it, there's always something in there. Yeah. So, uh, I'm just, I'm trying, even if it's just the breathing aspect of it, just taking the breaths and just calming my body, and I, I try to do a, a little bit. I don't do it much, but every now and then when I'm alone, I don't, you know, I try to do it. I don't, I guess I'm a little embarrassed. Yeah, anyone, anyone who's ever ever tried to meditate seriously, like actually sit there in whatever posture and really focus on your breath and clear out your mind, will know how difficult it is. You can't even no, do it for I can't. for five seconds. Five seconds, you already find yourself thinking of something else. It's very, very difficult. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm trying to think of one thing to to let go of all the other things, but then I'm like, but I'm yeah. still thinking of that. You know, yeah. What if I just count one, two? Does that that work? Can I count and just mm-hmm. concentrate on numbers? Yeah. Would it work? When did you start trying or like thinking of these things? Because you know, like you're known as the one of the vo- like the the vocalist of Marauder. People don't think of like you meditating. People don't think of you like you know what I mean doing these things. When yeah, did this I'm not come a up? big meditator, but I've I've tried it. Yeah, yeah. it's just a. It's a I don't know if if I'm doing it wrong or is it just a thing that you got to just keep trying until you master it. Like mm-hmm. you just, just got to keep doing it and eventually you just, it'll, it'll, you, I don't know. I guess you go into a trance. If you concentrate hard enough, you put, go into a trance. Mm-hmm. I mean, we do it all the time, you know, just in different ways. And, yeah. you know, uh, I mean, I mean, I'm trying. I would like to try. I would like to get together. The thing is, I don't, I don't have a circle of people mm. like that around me, mm-hmm. you know. Um, I always find myself being the only one, you know, that that thinks the way I think yeah. to that extent. I always find people that think, w- agree with some of it, but not all of it. Yeah, you know, and I don't know. I don't know. I just, you know, 
I just try. I just try whatever I can. If my if I I mean I don't know. I'm I'm not dead yet. I'm only I'm only fifty fifty one. You know. I, I still I I mean I don't know. Like I still wanted to get back into Muay Thai. And people are like that's yeah, not good for your body right now. I'm like, I don't feel that. Yeah. I don't feel that. I are really the people don't feel are the people who saying that it's not good? Have they ever tried it? Do they know? Because I know the Muay Thai, the Thais, they do a lot of, they, their sparring is different from, from what you see in the, in the movies, is different from the, yeah. even just regular boxing. Regular boxing, the sparring is hardcore, but yeah. in Muay Thai, I know their sparring is more technical. They do a lot of technical rounds. Yeah, just the tapping on the shins alone, I, my shins are not even completely <laughs> dead. Yeah. You know, I still have, Yeah, yeah. like, you know, and I mean, I, it's, they're good to the point that if I run around the house and I bang my leg into something, it's just like, ah! And I keep going. Yeah. Anybody, anyone, anyone else be on the floor like ah? Yeah. But um, <coughs> I I don't know, bro. Um, some people train that not not too many people. No, nah, no. Nah, you know, even when I went to the, when I was fighting in Fight Factory, I didn't really have too many friends there. A couple mm. of Russian dudes, you know, um, were cool and stuff. But a couple of them didn't really speak well English too well and. And you know, I don't, I don't, I don't go to the gym to talk too much. Yeah. You know, I don't want to interfere people's workout. And I don't want them to interfere my workout either. You know, if you got something to say, and say it. You know, we talk, and you know, there's a, there's a moment when I'm taking a little break. I'm off drinking water, mm. taking a breather. I don't mind talking. You know, but I, I just feel weird going up to people. I just say hello, hey, what's up? Tap them on the back. Let's go. Mm. They don't see me. And boom. I just show you know respect and stuff and but i don't really try to interfere too much with them mm -hmm. but uh, a lot of the people that don't don't take muay thai they train but never not really muay thai yeah because i could totally see if if, if uh, someone doesn't know then and they just box or something they'd be yeah. like yo you can't be sparring when you're this age or this many times a week you're gonna give yourself CTE. i don't know man i love it man yeah i love it and i i wish i had, i was able to spar now mm -hmm. you know um because i mean I love training, but nothing, nothing is it's it's not the same than sparring. Like, yeah. I rather spar more than train. Yeah, that interaction with another human, and you're thinking about yeah. what they're gonna do, what you're trying to do. It yeah, it because, makes you feel alive, bro. Because even if you don't get an opportunity to get in shape, and you and and you work on your on your on your boxing skills, like I told my son, even like there's a lot of I, I know a lot of my friends who who just box and they, they don't dedicate too much on their body. Mm -hmm. I, they work on that cardio because yeah. they want to go for distance but i seen some dudes that when they take off their shirt i'm like bro you box there's no way in hell you box you got yeah. fucking sizzle chest mm -hmm. and then the hands come out and you're like, oh shit yeah, yeah he box mm -hmm. like yeah. you know he's got you know nice footwork you know you know, you know sets up punches nice don't let a you know that's when people say don't judge a book by its yeah. cover you know you i feel like really i feel like uh combat sports martial arts boxing muay thai all that will show you really not to judge a book by its cover because yeah. people will look like the softest people you've ever met mm -hmm. and they've been training for seven years and they're sharp. Mm -hmm. And then there's someone who looks scary, comes in their first day, and they don't know anything. They get hit, they start turning away, and they don't know what they're we doing. We had a kid like that. Charlie, little Puerto Rican kid. He, was in. he had, for some reason, he looked like he had blush. His cheeks were always red, mm -hmm. and he was always smiling. Like, like a little, little smile was always in there with his dad. And he looked like a nice little innocent kid. He would fuck kids up. Yeah. I mean, he's, he, but he, he was like, I don't know. He was evil. He, he, we thought it was an innocent smile, but it was more like an evil smile. Like, yeah, I'm gonna kill somebody today. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> but he was a good fighter, man. He was really yeah. good, and he just didn't. He didn't. His face didn't say that. Yeah. You know. And there's some people out there that faces tell you they they got some scary faces yeah. that you would fuck up in a heartbeat. Yeah. You know. I know yeah, some real crazy. ugly motherfuckers. I'm like, yo, bro, your face is scaring me, bro. Like, you could get a job scaring people, you know? <laughs> it's wild, man. It's fucking, what's up? All right. I thought, he was, I thought he was trying to tell me something. Now, we were talking about this a while ago. We were working out, actually, in Coney Island Beach. You know those bars on the on the sand over there? Yeah, Calisthenics yeah. bars. And um, a bunch of people would come up. It was, like, 5 in the morning. and uh, You do bars? You do the... the like, calisthenics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I try to, like, work that's out. What I, sure. That's what I want to get into. And those are good, yeah, body weight, you can't go wrong, man. That's, like... Yeah, I, when I do my dips, I try to uh, take the legs. Oh, go mm. parallel, parallel. Yeah, and I get, I get, bro, I'm, and it's all here in the wrist. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. And I get to it like I'm like, oh shit, you know. And 
But you got to just stay with it. It's I got to stay with it, it's bro. About I gotta, but I don't have that motivation. Mm-hmm. It's, um, I have um, a lot going on, you know. I have a club. I got a lot of stuff with people in my club. I got my children. I got, you know, my career. Uh, and I got my wife and I got family and I, we all have these things, you know, and I got dogs and, but, um, I need to, I need to be around, um, more people that, that are doing that. Yeah. Cause I go, I go to the park and I don't find anybody. Mm-hmm. I find a couple of people working out there and, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm very friendly, bro. I'll go. I'll 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 talk to anybody, man. I'll go up there. Like, hey, what's yeah. up? And they don't talk back, bro. Yo, we're neighbors. We should hit the park soon. Bro. <laughs> and you ride too, right? Yeah. You gotta teach me how to ride, bro. <laughs> I'm with it. You teach me how to ride. Forget. I've been deaf forever, man. <laughs> Shit, man. I'll jump a bullet. I'll jump a front bullet uh, for bro. you, bro. I don't need no returns. You know, if it's a nerf bullet, I'll yeah. jump a front of that motherfucker <laughs> for you in a heartbeat. <laughs> it's all over. <laughs> Yeah. Paintball, even a paintball. I'll take a paintball shot for you. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, look at look at uh, is this some of his his videos? Is him at the Coney Allen? <laughs> Yo, that's you. I'm on your page, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you were on my page a, a minute ago. Oh yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look a lot taller. Yeah, <laughs> nah, people say I don't look like that <laughs> in person. But you, you're, you're probably solid, man. Yeah, I don't really post my face. I don't fuck with the whole selfie. Um, bro, you got to help me get that, man. Bro, I'm saying. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be able to do any of that. But I mean, just you doing that shit and, and, and being with a little group and we have a little music, we just chit chat. That's motivation enough, man. Yeah. Like, I. That's just for the videos, man. I do basic stuff, man. You could do yeah. like regular push ups. Push-ups. Yeah, during the quarantine, yeah. me and him, that's actually how we started this podcast. I was in Massachusetts yeah. and uh, I would FaceTime him and we just do, we just get money on bars like the one I got there. Yeah. Just like simple ones. Home, yeah, man. we would just, yeah. we it's would just, just I can't do wide. Yeah, it's yeah, annoying, but doors, it's, what, it's what we had, you know? So we would just FaceTime, we do push ups, dips, uh, uh, like uh, pull ups, sit ups, and all that. I could do more now. With, with with pull ups and dips than I that I did when I was younger. Really, it's crazy. I just I, I don't know. So I could do I couldn't I could never do diamonds. I could never do. I I put on my vest today. I had forty yeah, I put I forty that. pound vest yeah. and I, just, sh- I, I you, know, you know like four or five diamonds. You know. Yeah. I want to get one of those vests. I've been using like a backpack with a twenty five pound plate in it just to do push ups here, but. I want I don't to know get where one the of those fuck vests. I got that vest. 